Hello, in this video we're going to do a consumer utility maximization problem. The utility function is going to be in the form of perfect substitutes and it's going to be a function of three goods. The consumer's utility function is given by the following. Here's our perfect substitutes utility function. It is a function again of three goods. C is cups of coffee, P is protein drinks, and S represents sports drinks. For the prices, a cup of coffee is $2, protein drink is $4, and the sports drink sells for $3. The consumer has $30 to spend per week on coffee and drinks. What is the consumer's utility maximizing consumption level? So the key things here, the utility function and the various prices. We need to find which good gives the most marginal utility per dollar. So let's get the marginal utilities and with a perfect substitutes utility function, the marginal utilities are just the coefficients in front of the variables. So the marginal utility of coffee is 15. The marginal utility for protein drinks is 20. And the marginal utility for sports drinks is 9. Now to get the marginal utilities per dollar, we're going to take the marginal utilities and divide each one of them by their respective prices. So the marginal utility per dollar for a cup of coffee here is going to be 15. The marginal utility divided by the price or 7. The marginal utility per dollar on protein drinks is going to be 20 divided by 4. The marginal utility divided by the price of protein drinks. And we get an answer here of 5. So spending one more dollar on protein drinks will increase your utility by 5 units. And then the marginal utility of sports drinks divided by the price of sports drinks gives us an answer of three. So spending one more dollar on sports drinks will give you three additional units of satisfaction. And so what we're looking for here is what gives us the greatest bang for our buck. And that is going to be coffee. Spending one more dollar on coffee adds more to our utility than spending one more dollar on any of the other drinks. So the consumer gets the most marginal utility per dollar from coffee, so she should spend her entire $30 per week on coffee. And if you're spending your entire $30 on something that costs $2 a cup, she'll be able to afford 15 cups of coffee. Again, she will not buy any protein drinks or sports drinks. They give less marginal utility per dollar compared to cups of coffee. Now, let's suppose the government lim limits coffee consumption to 10 cups per week. What is the utility maximizing consumption bundle? So just reminding ourselves here of the marginal utilities per dollar for the three drinks. The consumer will purchase 10 cups of coffee at $2 per cup, spending $20 of her $30 budget. The consumer will spend the remaining $10 on the good that provides the next highest marginal utility per dollar. In that case, that is going to be protein drinks. So if you have $10 left over and protein drinks cost $4 each, you'll be able to buy 2.5 protein drinks. So utility with rationing, in this case, when we're rationing the number of cups of coffee, the total utility will equal 200. 10 cups of coffee, 2.5 protein drinks, and you're not buying any sports drinks, you'll get a utility of 200. You'll notice without rationing, total utility was higher. The person bought 15 cups of coffee, plugging that 15 into the utility function and zero for the other drinks. The consumer had 225 units of satisfaction. All right, that's it.